inequality. Uh -huh. So now, hey, very interesting. Okay, you will love it. Okay, now, uh, we have absolute value sign right there. That's right. You know what absolute value sign, right? Okay, that means some, some kind of sign just like this. See? Okay, that means, okay, let's say, let's talk about this one. Okay, you have absolute value sign, then uh, let's say 7. That's right, 7. Very simple. What about negative 7? 7. Okay, what about negative A? Or A first, okay, A. Then what? A? No, <laughs> you have to be careful. That's right. So this one is not the right answer, okay? You have to go, uh, anytime you have a vari uh, variables inside of this sign, then you have to treat this one like a two questions. Okay, if, see, inside of this one, whole thing, actually A is greater or equal to zero, that's one case, then if A is less than zero, see, two ifs, that's it, okay, actually else if, whatever. Okay, then if this one is a positive, that's right, answer is A, that's it. Okay, but what if this inside is negative, see? That's what I'm worrying about, see? If A itself is negative, you said A, that value is negative, see? But absolute value sign means you will got to take only positive. That's it. So that means you have to put negative sign front of this one, see? That means this answer can be positive, depends on positive A or negative A. Okay, that's what you have to be careful. So you watch me carefully, okay? So, okay, if whole thing inside, see, x minus 1 is a greater or equal to 0, then, yes, you can solve this one just like that. x minus 1 equals 1, which is, you move this one to my right-hand side, it's going to be 2, so x value is 2, that's it. So x equals 2. So another if right here, okay, else if, okay, then, Okay, x minus 1 is less than 0, which is negative. Then you have to put negative sign front of this one, right? Okay, which is x minus 1, then negative sign, then equal 1. That's it. Now, hey, in this case, you can move this one first, okay? I'm going to solve this one. Okay, you can see right away. So negative sign, I'm going to move this one right there. doesn't matter because this one is an equal sign. <laughs> What about then? X equals, then it was negative, then I move this one to my right hand side, it's going to be a positive one, right? Okay, scratch, then plus one. That means plus one, minus one, it's going to be zero. Oh, that's it. Now we can plug in, okay? Let's plug in. Now, what if answer is, okay, two? Let's try two here, okay? Two minus one, that's one, one. Oh, absolute value one is one. That's right. What about zero this time? Okay, let's try zero. Okay, zero minus one is a negative one. Okay, minus one times minus one is one. That's why one. Oh, perfect. Okay, both answers acceptable. Zero or negative, uh, I mean positive two. That's it. What about inequality right here? Oh, man, very interesting. Okay, so now, oh, that's right. We have to treat this one like a two questions. Okay, if, so x minus one, is greater or equal to zero. That's one case. Okay, always the same way, okay? So if, okay, x minus one is less than zero. See, that's the, what we call borderline, especially the in function. You have to realize that, how important this one is. Okay, so now, okay, in that case, yes, just like that, just solve it. Okay, that means x minus one is less than one. Now you scratch this one, then move this one, plus one, that means x is less than, that's right, two. Oh, very important. We, you got one. Now the other one. Oh, in this case, right, you have to put negative sign. I told you, see, negative sign right there. Okay, so that means x minus one, the whole thing, you put negative sign in front of it, so then uh, this is gonna be less than one. Now, think about this one, now. You move this one, see, okay, you gotta watch out. Now, I change this one to positive, right? Then, you move this one to 
uh, right hand side, negative sign, but you have to change this direction. You remember? Oh, that's what you have to be careful. Now, x minus 1, you scratch this one. That's right, plus 1. That's it. So, that means x is, okay, not less than anymore, greater than, okay, this one was a 0, right? 0. That's it. Okay, now, the answer is right there. Okay, this one and this one, right? But two answers that you can put together or not. That's what you have to think. Okay, you look at this number line. Okay, so right in the middle, let's say zero. Okay, then one, two, three, four, so on, negative one, negative two, so on. Now, it says, uh oh, x value is greater than, greater than, uh, what is that, zero. That means, oh, from here. Okay, so this one is not included, right? You have to be careful on this. Important thing is zero is not included. See, no equal sign. That means you have to make a hole right here. See, just like this one. Because zero is not included. So this x value is greater than, so that means you gotta go like this. Okay, so first. Now, next one. Oh, x should be less than two. That means two is not included. So that's why you have to put, oh, circle, just like this one. See, blank right there. Then less than this one, just like this one. That means you can take a whole thing right there, right? Together, yes. That's why you can put them together, just like this. Okay, x value is greater than 0, less than 2. See, you can have one group of answer right there. See? Okay, this is it. You can try. Okay, what about this one? Oh, inside of this, right? So inside of this one, so you got to treat this one twice, okay? What if inside of this 3 minus y is greater or equal to 0? That means, which is positive number, right? Okay, what about if, okay, 3 minus y is less than 0? Oh, so the top one, that's okay. It's a positive, just to open it. Okay, so now 3 minus y is greater than 2. In this case, right, so if you move minus y right here, see, that's one uh, uh, clue, okay, one way to do. Okay, so minus y, you can move this one to plus y. Then you move this one to your left-hand side, it's going to be 3 minus 2, which is 1, right? That means, oh, 1, right there, see, you scratch this one, so actually minus two, right? Okay, this one is positive. So that's why this one is one. Now, same direction, same direction, just like this one, y right there. See? Because I didn't do anything, okay, division or multiplication with a negative number. That's why. Okay, that's okay. That's one answer right there. Fantastic. Now, what about this one? If this was a negative, I have to put negative sign in front of it, right? That means a negative. Then, okay, three minus y, just like this one, greater than 2. See? Now, uh oh I'm going to change this sign. Okay, now. Okay. I'm going to change sign to positive. Oh, that's it. Then I have to put this negative sign to this one. Then I have to change direction. You have to be careful. Now, then, now still, okay, I can move this one to my right hand side, just like this. Then I can move this one here. Okay, that means originally, Actually, you could do that a long time ago. Okay, it doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Okay, so y goes to the right-hand side. Now, uh, uh, that means, okay, you change sign. I changed the sign already just like this. Then left-hand side, okay, this is going to be, actually, this negative 2 goes to uh, our left-hand side. It's going to be a plus. That's why 5, right? Okay, it's just like this. Okay, what I'm saying is, okay, uh, Forget about this one. Now, let's do it again one more time. Okay, if this one is a negative inside, then you're going to put negative sign in front of it, right? Which is negative. Okay, then, okay, parenthesis, 3 minus y. Okay, then, uh, do this one, right? Then, in this case, you can open it right now. See? So, so many different ways, but uh, that's right. This one is even uh, better. Now, negative 3. Then positive uh, y is greater than 2. Then 
you move scratch this one, then move. Okay, plus 3. Then y is greater than 5. Oh, that's right. y is greater than 5. Or this one, same thing. y is greater than 5. It doesn't matter which way, but uh, this was not a good idea. Okay, so you can do this one directly. Anyway, 